Welcome everybody to another edition of the Bushman's Beer Review. I'm your host, the Bushman. And I'm your co-host, Black Rain. Today we are reviewing Session IPAs. And oh my god, they are so hot right now. <laughs> Every, everywhere you look, there's a Session IPA. It seems like every brewery has some kind of Session IPA out now. But what is a Session beer? Well, let me tell you. Session is originally a British term that is used to describe basically drinking a large quantity of beer with a relatively low alcohol content so as not to get totally shit-faced. Yeah, usually these Session beers are around 5% ABV and you have the Germans to thank for it. That's right. During WW1, barley was in very short demand and uh, breweries basically had to face either dropping the quantity of beer produced or dropping the quantity of barley put in the beer to keep up with productions. Yep, and after the war, the government started taxing these breweries based on the ABV. And so they just uh, had an incentive to keep producing these session beers. Nowadays, pretty much everything you see in the stores, any of the big breweries, they're all session beers. The Budweiser and the Bud Light. And I want to get one. Coors Light. Oh. But anyway, session beers, it's all about drinking a lot of it and not embarrassing yourselves at Christmas or Chuck E. Cheese. Lately, a lot of breweries have been applying the idea of a session beer to an IPA, which is typically the exact opposite of a session beer. Yeah, IPAs are hard to hashtag due to their uh, high IBUs and higher ABV, but they are also very tasty and we love them. Now the session IPA essentially takes an IPA and they drop the alcohol content down, they drop the heaviness down, but you still get all that awesome flavor. Yeah, session IPA is uh, actually a pretty good beer to start off and try to get you into that IPA game. Kind of, kind of ease your way into the hoppy beers to start with the session IPAs and maybe working your way up to, you know, a man card. Yeah, I mean, all new beers take a little getting used to, but if you hate it, keep, keep drinking. drinking. So we're going to review the three beers that we can buy in Jackson, Mississippi, which are Lagunitas, Daytime, New Belgium, a slow ride, and the Sam Adams Rebel Rider. So more importantly, uh, I say we get to reviewing and drinking. All right, well our first beer up is Lagunitas Daytime Ale. It's got an IBU of 54 and an ABV of 4.7. They call it a fractional IPA, but it's essentially a session IPA. Hmm. That's pretty good. That's kind of fruity notes to it. Mm. It's got that, that strong hot flavor. Finish is smooth though. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really have a, a malty backbone to it at all. No, no most really. most of the session IPAs don't have a whole lot of malt to them anyway. That's where most of the heaviness comes from. Yeah, it's pretty good though. Everything by Lagunitas is pretty solid. Yeah, I don't think I've had a beer by them I don't like. It's a good crisp beer. I could definitely drink about a hundred of these, no problem. Yeah, goes down smooth, easy, lots of flavor. Mm. At the same time, you know, low alcohol content. All right, well, yeah, uh, it's good beer. Yeah, you we can. like this one a lot. Yeah. So, go drink it. Okie dokie. Our next beer is uh, New Belgium Slow Ride. Literally says Session IPA on the label. So you know it's a Session IPA if you can read. This is actually one of uh, New Belgium's most recent releases. Uh, as I said earlier in the show, or we said, that uh, everybody's kind of put them, putting them out. Session IPAs are being everybody. Thing. The the better breweries like you know, New Belgium Lagunitas, uh, Founders, they all kind of do taste similar to each other a little bit. Same style, of course. Yeah. Going to taste similar. Mm. But yeah, Founders has it nailed down. I'd this say New Belgium's pretty close. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Mm. Yeah, uh, I like the, the the back end on this. It almost goes like real hoppy to like just a normal. And I, I don't want to dumb it down, but like a Budweiser lager flavor to it. You know? it smooths out very quickly. Yeah, so you, you know. get that hot bite up front, and then just like simmers down really quickly. Samadana. Samadana. All right. Well, this is Samuel Adams Rebel Rider Session IPA, West Coast style. <laughs> what? West Coast style session IPA. Never heard of it. And it sounds like they never heard of a session IPA. That tastes like nothing. <laughs> that tastes like Budweiser. Yeah. Samuel Adams, no no disrespect, but you don't know jack shit about session IPAs. Oh, they got some bullshit on this side. <laughs> uh, bursting with bright citrus <laughs> grapefruit and classic piney West Coast hop character, 
This beer has a soft, lingering bitterness and a lighter body overall. Our session IPA is brewed for easygoing days, so relax and enjoy. Well, the only thing that my palate's tasting is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to pour this in the toilet. <laughs> Man, it's really not a terrible beer, but it's not a session IPA. Mm -mm. It doesn't, there's no hop character to it at all. Can't say I'm surprised. No, no, not really. No. Sorry, old Sam. All right, well, that uh, wraps up our reviews of the Session IPA. I gotta say my favorite was the daytime. I think you probably agree. I agree as well. This is actually a new one. Now, the slow ride was really good. It's a close second. It tastes yeah. a lot like this. Yeah, uh, I agree. Sam Adams is... So yeah, get out there, uh, take advantage of your Kroger's, the uh, variety six packs that you make yourself. Get you a couple of daytimes, get you some slow rides, do not get the uh, Rebel Rider or Session IPA. Especially if you don't live around here. There's a lot of Session IPAs around there, around the country that we can't get here. So, and they're all really good. So try them. If you haven't had one and you like hobby beers, try some Session IPAs. Especially Founders IPA. Definitely. All day IPA. It's the Founder. Anyways, well I'm the Bushman, Ben Street. And I'm Black Rain, Nick Conklin. Like us on Facebook. Uh, you know, on Twitter as well. Yep. And y'all have been Bushwhack, Bush baby! It's called Slow Ride. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What do you want? <laughs> Lay off me! I'm drinking! <laughs>